In life, we often find ourselves faced with two choices, to seek revenge or to forgive. These choices are critical and can shape our destiny. They can engulf us with bitterness or free us with forgiveness. We journey into the unforgettable universe of Alexandre Dumas's masterpiece, The Count of Monte Cristo. This seminal work of literature bridges the chasm between revenge and forgiveness, offering profound insights. A story that traverses these polarizing paths, revealing the long-lasting repercussions of our decisions. This tale explores the depths of these two choices and their lasting impacts. Picture this. 19th century France, home of a spirited mariner, Edmond Dante, whose existence is drastically flipped. Unjustly implicated in a treasonous act, he's summarily jailed without due process. This cruel twist of fate lands him in the Chateau d'If, a dreaded island fortress. Stripped of freedom and hope, he languishes in this infamous prison. His dreams of a bright future replaced with the bleak walls of his cell. He is left to rot in the Chateau d'If, a notorious island prison. His heart fills with rage and resentment towards those who betrayed him. Abandoned by those he once trusted, Dante finds himself entrapped in a whirlwind of bitterness. The harsh sting of betrayal translates into an insatiable need for retribution. This desire becomes a fiery drive, a force so destructive yet paradoxically life-sustaining. It fuels his relentless will to survive harsh trials he faces. This obsession, this dark beacon of revenge, guides him, leading him down a path of self-reinvention. It's an obsession that leads him to an unimaginable fortune hidden away on the island of Monte Cristo. Emerging from the shadows as the enigmatic Count of Monte Cristo, Dante embarks on a calculated campaign of revenge against those who have wronged him. Born anew from the dark abyss of betrayal and despair, Dante, now the Count, wields the double-edged sword of wealth and influence in a world that had once shunned him. With a mind sharpened by hunger for vengeance, he masterfully weaves a web of calculated destruction. Like a puppeteer, he tugs on the strings of fate, manipulating the lives of those who once stood against him, orchestrating their ultimate demise. He leaves no stone unturned in his pursuit of justice, causing chaos and wreaking havoc. With a cold, calculating precision, he engineers their downfall. But as the Count exacts his revenge, the destructive nature of this path becomes palpably apparent. Each move he makes, each step he takes, is laced with a dangerous ferocity that shatters the peace of those around him. Innocent lives, ordinary people living their ordinary lives, find themselves caught in the furious storm of his vengeance. His actions resonate with a dreadful echo, reaching far beyond his immediate victims, staining the canvas of their lives with sorrow and regret. His own bliss, a scarce commodity in the bitter currency of revenge, is overshadowed by his relentless pursuit of retribution. Yet in the midst of his vengeance, a glimmer of humanity shines through. In a twist of fate, Dante stumbles upon Mercedes, the woman who once held his heart. She is accompanied by a young man, Albert, a mirror image of a younger Dante. Oblivious to the fact Albert is Dante's own flesh and blood, the offspring of their love, how time had passed. Mercedes, still beautiful, still kind, unknowingly extends her hand in love and forgiveness towards him. It's a stark contrast to the path of revenge he's been treading. Slowly, Dante begins to question his actions. He is overcome by a profound realization, a sudden awareness of the suffering he has brought upon others. He sees the anguish, the torment birthed by his acts of revenge. The realization is a mirror held up to his soul reflecting the emptiness, the void created by his vengeance. This hollow feeling, this emptiness doesn't sit right within him. It somehow triggers an internal shift, a deep-seated change. This change brings about a newfound understanding, a comprehension of an emotion he had long ignored. Forgiveness. This powerful realization ignites a transformation within him, where he begins to understand the healing power of forgiveness. By the end of the story, the Count of Monte Cristo is a changed man. Having navigated a tumultuous journey, he has encountered the sheer intensity of vengeance, its tendency to corrode the spirit and its power to obliterate peace. Similarly, he has discovered the profound healing potential of forgiveness, a force capable of mending the deepest wounds inflicted by betrayal and deceit. This transformation prompts him to abandon his tormented past, 
opting instead for a tranquil existence. He makes a conscious decision to extend grace and forgiveness to those who wronged him, embodying the strength in his newfound wisdom. He leaves his past behind, choosing to live in peace and offering forgiveness to those who wronged him. In essence, Alexandre Dumas' The Count of Monte Cristo is a cautionary tale. The story, set against the backdrop of 19th century France, unfurls the life of the protagonist, Edmond Dante, a man who is wronged and seeks vengeance. Gripped by the overpowering desire for revenge, Dante descends into a destruction that only serves to perpetuate his own agony and despair. The novel underscores the dark, corrosive nature of revenge that engulfs one's life, causing even more anguish and torment. Simultaneously, it puts a spotlight on the transformative power of forgiveness, a virtue that has been extolled for its ability to breed understanding and ultimately, liberation. It emphasizes that forgiveness, contrary to revenge, doesn't just quell the storm within, but also paves the path for redemption and inner peace. This path can lead to a life filled with tranquility, serenity, and freedom from the chains of resentment. Ultimately, it's a tale that highlights the healing power of forgiveness, which can lead to redemption and peace. Duma's story encourages us to choose forgiveness over revenge, a timeless message that still resonates today. Remember the tale of the Count of Monte Cristo, its destructive nature of revenge and the healing power of forgiveness. The choice is always yours. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep exploring the depths of human nature through the world of literature.